Good morning, GMS. I'm Avery Hawkersmith. And I'm Anna Ball. And welcome to the GMS News Show for the week of September 27, 2021. Students, if your Chromebook needs repair or replace, please have a parent fill out the form on the GMS website. Click on the Parent tab and click on the Device Repair. A quick reminder about the dress code. Remember, all pants must be standard length garments. Therefore, shorts, skirts, dresses, and more must be fingertip length or longer with or without garments underneath. Thanks for your understanding. Please remember to wear your mask at school and on the bus. You need to have your m nose and your mouth covered at all times, and this includes when you're talking to your friends. Thanks so much for your cooperation. If you are home due to illness, please make sure that you or your guardian calls 317-889-4040, extension 2, to let the school know what is going on. Yearbooks are still on sale for $35. The price will increase as the year goes on. They are at sale at yearbookforever.com. There is a link on the GMS homepage if you would like to have a yearbook. Now let's go to the interview, top trending, and the GMS news sports update. Have a great week, everybody, and remember to stay safe. Welcome to the GMS News Show, Interview of the Week. I'm Aubrey Waymire here with 8th grade language arts teacher, Mrs. Waymire. How are you doing today? I'm doing great, thanks, Aubrey. How are you? I'm doing pretty good. Would you like to start off by telling us a little bit about yourself? Well, um, I teach language arts. I've been here, this is my 8th school year here. And um, I absolutely love GMS. I love to read. And um, I'm the student council sponsor. So that's a lot of stuff about me. Cool. What book are you reading currently? Right now I'm reading Beautiful Country, which is uh, a memoir. And I usually don't read memoirs. I usually read drivel. So it's kind of nice to read something and I'm, I'm learning. Mm -hmm. How many books do you think you read in a year? Somewhere between 150 <laughs> to 175. Wow. Um, did you always want to be a language arts teacher? No, actually, I wanted to be an elementary school teacher, and um, I couldn't find an elementary job, so I became a Spanish teacher, and now here I am. Cool. How many years have you been teaching, and what would you enjoy doing if you weren't a teacher? This is my 25th school year, so uh, I've been doing this a long time, but if I wasn't teaching, I would be a school librarian. <laughs> well, that's all for our show. Thank you for coming today, Mrs. Weimar. Have a great week. Thanks. You too, Aubrey. Hello, welcome to Top Trendy, where we share the top weird and trending stories of the week. I'm Lillian. And I'm Abigail. Let's get started with number three. After seven months, five-year-old Harvey Sutton completed the Appalachian Trail, according to NPR.org. Harvey, or Little Man, a nickname he earned on the trail, started the Appalachian Trail with his parents at age four, celebrating his birthday along the trail. His parents, Josh and Cassie Sutton, started hiking with him when he was around two years old, practicing short walks to get ready for the three... 1,530 kilometer trail, 2,193 miles. Harvey never grew tired of the trail, playing games he made up along the way. Even after hiking 16 kilometers, he was still up for a game of freeze tag. Number two, according to HuffPost News, six-year-old shelter cat named Quilty is breaking the internet after going viral for breaking fellow felines out of their enclosures. Staff at Friends for Life Animal Rescue and Adoption Organization had to keep wrangling the free cats back into the enclosures multiple times a day. Quilty ending up having to pay for his crimes by being banished to the lobby temporarily, so the room could be Quilty-proofed. Quilty is now at a week-long trial at his possible forever home. His potential new owner said, he hasn't shown any sl slickness at all, yet. Number one. According to UPI.com, Calm. On June 19th, a 15-year-old boy from Illinois by the name of Brecken Kobalecki went on a trip to Minnesota. There he broke a state record with a 46 and a quarter inch pike. The Minnesota Department of Natural Resources said that Brecken was fishing on Basswood Lake when he caught the humongous fish. Brecken told the department that the pike proved difficult to land. Don't worry about the famous fish though. It was quickly photographed and released back into Basswood Lake shortly after. Although the fish was reeled in during June, the department took three months to approve it. He officially broke the previous record, 45 and a quarter inches, on September 14th. That's all for Chop Trending. Have a great week, GMS. Hey, GMS. It's Jackson, and let's take a look at sports. On Monday, September 27th, cross country at Beach Grove, Indian Creek at Franklin at 5 p.m. And girls and boys soccer at Plainfield at home starting at 5.30 p.m. Tuesday, September 28th, girls and boys soccer at Decatur at home, 
starting at 5.15 p.m. And 7th and 8th grade girls volleyball at Franklin Community MS, starting at 5.30 p.m. Thursday, September 30th, 7th and 8th grade football at Decatur Middle School, starting at 5.30 p.m. And girls golf Decatur at Decatur Middle School at 4 p.m. And then boys tennis at Indian Creek at 5.30 p.m. At Friday, October 1st, girls golf away at Mid-State Tournament at 4.30 p.m. See, see you later, GMS.